In January, I made a list of movies I've rewatched. You guys enjoyed the video and it made me do another one. Like before, I pick out a few films and give you all my thoughts. Of course, there are spoilers for each of the movies I discuss. Let's get going. The first film is Don Bluth's Anastasia. When my third oldest sister and I were kids and visited the maternal grandparents, we would watch a bunch of VHS tapes. Most of them were Disney, but sometimes we would watch movies from other companies. Anastasia was one of them I remember watching. This film was worth going on memory lane despite being historical fiction. The animation is spot on, the songs are catchy, and the overall emotions hit the mark. Say what you will, but I believe everyone is well casted. A corpse falling to bits! Then I opened my eyes and the nightmare was whoa, whoa, me! Whoa, whoa. It's my recommendation for every animated movie fan. The next movie is Thumbelina, yet another Don Bluth classic. It wasn't something I watched a whole lot. I did like the movie when I was little. Watching it now as an adult, I can't help but feel conflicted. I like the film because of the nostalgia. At the same time, I feel indifferent because of the choices. For example, the song Married the Mole wasn't good. It's not Razzie Award bad, just not good. The songs with Joey Benson are great though. Speaking of Joey Benson, her singing voice is angelic and beautiful. The animation is gorgeous, let me tell you. You can tell the animators put their heart into making it appealing to the eye. In the end, I say watch it. Have your judgment on what you think. The final film is Fern Gully The Last Rainforest. I watched this in two locations, at home and in school. My class had to learn about the dangers pollution would do to the environment. The movie of choice for the topic was Fern Gully. This movie is nightmare fuel to the maximum. Hexus is quite possibly one of the most terrifying villains of all time. <laughs> Despite this, this is a visually stunning movie. The late Robin Williams was great as Batty. He was the comic relief we needed. There's a sequel six years later, but let's just say it doesn't exist to me. As for the first movie, it's great. Brace yourself for the terrifying villain. Thank you for watching the video. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos coming soon.